In this video, we are going to learn about Neil Armstrong, a brave man who spent his life serving his country and helping the people around him. Neil Armstrong was a pilot and an engineer, but is most famous for being an astronaut. As an astronaut, Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. It's because it's so exciting. We are going to look at his story, which begins right here. Neil Armstrong was born on August 5th, 1930 in Ohio. Here is the flag of Ohio. It is the only state flag in the United States that isn't a rectangle. Ohio is often called the Buckeye State. So Neil Armstrong was born and raised in Ohio, the Buckeye State. Growing up, Neil Armstrong was fascinated with flying. He just was intrigued by it. He was like, wow, flying is so cool. And check this out. He loved flying so much. He took flying lessons as a teenager and got his student flight certificate when he turned 16. He got his flight certificate before he even got his driver's license. Wow, that's incredible. No, I can't drive to school. I don't have my license. But I can fly an airplane to school. Yeah! He was so interested in flight that he wanted to learn how to design and build aircraft. That is a field of study known as aerospace engineering. Engineers study how things work and can design and build all sorts of things. Aerospace engineering focuses on aircraft machines like planes, for example. He joined a program that allowed him to study aerospace engineering and serve his country in the military. He studied aerospace engineering for two years and then served in the United States Navy. Now, this was during the time of the Korean War. Neil Armstrong flew 78 missions over Korea. Here is a picture of Neil Armstrong on one of those missions. He is piloting this plane with the number 116 on it. He bravely served his country and was awarded multiple medals along with two gold stars. Later, Neil Armstrong completed his college studies. After graduation, he became a test pilot. Test pilots try out new or recently changed aircraft. It is a risky job to have because a test pilot doesn't know if it is going to work well or not, but Neil Armstrong loved it. Here is a photo of Neil Armstrong after a test. He looks super happy, but there were even bigger things around the corner for him. You see, NASA was accepting applications for Project Gemini, and Neil Armstrong was a great candidate. Project Gemini was NASA's second astronaut space flight program. He was accepted into NASA after applying. He was officially an astronaut. Neil Armstrong played an active role in two Gemini missions, Gemini 8 and 11. Here is a picture of Neil Armstrong getting ready for Gemini 8. Look at all of the wires and equipment an astronaut needs. After the Gemini program, NASA started the Apollo program, its third astronaut space flight program. It was announced that Neil Armstrong would be one of three astronauts to serve on the main crew for Apollo 11. Apollo 11 was a very special flight to be a part of because it was the mission that was going to land on the moon. 
You see, in 1961, President John F. Kennedy had announced the goal of landing on the moon in the next 10 years. Many people were nervous about this announcement because they didn't think it was possible, but NASA went to work. Eight years later, they were ready. Apollo 11 would land on the moon. They made Neil Armstrong the commander of the flight, who served along with Michael Collins and Buzz Aldrin. They launched from Earth the morning of July 16th, 1969. Once they were close to the moon, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin went into a part of the ship called Eagle, which separated from the rest of the space vessel, which was called Columbia. Columbia would orbit the moon with Michael Collins staying on board, waiting for Eagle to return. On July 20th, 1969, Eagle landed on the surface of the moon, carrying Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. This was one of the greatest moments in history. Humans had made it to the moon. This was the moment Neil Armstrong stepped off of Eagle onto the surface of the moon. Over 500 million people around the world watched live on TV as Neil Armstrong became the first man on the moon. As he took his famous first step, he said these words, One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Then, 19 minutes later, Buzz Aldrin was on the surface of the moon as well. Neil Armstrong took lots of pictures. This is a picture Neil Armstrong took of Buzz on the surface. You can also see the American flag, and you can also see Eagle right here in the picture. Say, hi, Eagle. Yeah, hi, Eagle. The Eagle has landed, right? Yeah, hi, Eagle. This is one of the most famous pictures that Neil Armstrong took. Do you recognize it? Have you ever seen this picture before? Cool. After taking pictures, collecting samples, conducting experiments, and more, Eagle ascended. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin joined Michael Collins in the space vessel Columbia, and they headed back to Earth. When they returned, there were great celebrations. Here is a picture of a parade in their honor. Neil Armstrong is right here. Neil Armstrong retired from NASA and became a teacher, teaching aerospace engineering and other subjects. He enjoyed teaching and helping students understand the very things that he enjoyed so much through his life. He also enjoyed spending time on the farm he owned. After he was done teaching, he helped businesses grow and was the spokesman of multiple companies. Years later, in 2012, Neil Armstrong became sick and died at the age of 82. In life, he was awarded for his service and bravery. Receiving the Presidential Medal of Freedom, was inducted into the Naval Aviation Hall of Honor and received many, many more awards and honors. But Neil Armstrong, while accomplishing so much, was not simply the first man on the moon. He served and helped in whatever way was needed, flying, teaching, helping businesses. It didn't matter. Neil Armstrong truly was an American hero.